Welcome back to my channel. Here I will be showing you how you can construct a triangle when you are given the base, the vertical angle and the altitude. Construction of a triangle when you are given the base, the vertical angle and the altitude or the height of the triangle. So let's see what we need to do here. So I'm going to take the base to be 60 millimeters. The length of the base is 60 millimeters. The vertical angle will be 60 degrees and the altitude will be 40 millimeters. So those are the parameters that I'm using. I said the base or the length of the base will be 60 millimeters. The vertical angle is 60 degree and the altitude is 40 millimeters. So let's see what we need to do here. So the first thing is to draw a horizontal line. So I will draw a horizontal line like this of any length. And on this line, I'm going to take a measurement of 60 millimeters. 60 millimeters. So this is from a point and this is a point. So I will call this point. This is end A of the line and end B of the line as the base. So this is the base. So I'm going to make this line a thick line now. So I make it a thick line at once like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to take my protractor and I will set it at this point A here. So, so I'll set the protractor at point A here and I'm going to take angle 60 degree here. So this is angle 60 degree. So I'm going to draw a short line. So a short line from A. So passing through this point. So this is okay. So this line is okay. So I don't want to make it long. So this line is line AC. So this is line AC here. So this is line AC. So this angle here is 60 degree. This angle is 60 degree, which is the vertical angle that we are given. So this angle is 60 degree. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to draw a perpendicular line to line AC, a perpendicular line to line AC, a line that will be at the right angle to line AC. So I'm going to use my protractor to do that. So what I need to do is to set my protractor on line AC. So make sure this vertical line on 90 degree is at point C. Okay. And the horizontal line here is on line AC. So I just put a dot here. So this will give me 90 degrees. So I'm going to draw this line. So I'm going to draw this line in this direction. So this is okay for me. So the next thing is to bisect the base of the triangle that is AB. So bisecting line AB. So, so I make an arc here. So I make an arc here. So with the same radius at B. So I make an arc here. And then I'll make an arc here. Alright, so I'm going to draw the bisector. Okay. So this is the so this is the bisector here. Okay, so the bisector intersect this line. So let me call this line, let me let me call it line AD. Line AD. So the bisector meets line AD at this point. So this is point O here. I'll call it point O. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my compass, put it at point O, and extend to B or A. Then I will draw a circle. So I'll draw a circle. So I don't want to make it a complete circle. So this is okay for me. I don't want to make it a complete circle. So this is okay. Alright, so the next thing to do is to take a measurement of 40 millimeters. 40 millimeters, which is the altitude of the triangle. So 40 millimeters with my compass. So now I put the pinpoint at A here. So I make an arc around here, like this. And also put the same pinpoint at B. And I will also make an arc here, like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to draw a line that will be parallel to line 
A, B. So this line, so I will draw a line over this, the axe, over this axe, like this. Okay, so this line, I will call it line, um, so E, F. So this is line E, F. Okay, so this line E, F now, it touches this circle at this point. Touches this circle at this point. So I'm going to join E, F together. Sorry, I'm going to join. So this point, so this point will be point G. Okay, so I will join this line, this point B and G together, so with a line like this, and I will also join G A together or A G together, a straight line like this. So this is the triangle. So the required triangle is triangle A B G. Is the required triangle. So whose base the vertical angle and the altitude are given so it's as simple as i've done it here thank you for watching and keep on practicing